fucking like general bear? <laughs> he was a he was Corporal Voitek. And he's a bear who smoked cigarettes and drank alcohol <laughs> and fought with the other soldiers. <laughs> Can you imagine being like a German soldier and you see like a guy no, on a that hill with happened. a um, a German soldier, um, attempted to infiltrate the camp, and, you know, we stuck into the showers. Problem is, Corporal Wojtek wanted to have a shower, and he, the, this bear knew how to turn the water on, so he just went into the shower himself. What? This Nazi spy comes in, a fucking bear comes in with, a like, a towel or whatever, get ready to have a shower. So, I mean, what do you do at that point? <laughs> what do you do? Like, you're just poor German, like, spy who's in the shower, and the bear walks in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking you're, towel. you're infiltrating this camp and a fucking bear walks into the showers you were hiding in. I mean, what do you do? Like a cartoon. Could you imagine being like a fucking a gunman and just like a guy with a quilt and like a fucking bear backpipes with a sword comes out along with a bear? <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do? Oh. Anything. You just let it happen. What the fuck was wrong with World War II? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, that was also the time where Britain was just like, Oh yeah, nukes, whatever, I'm gonna go open my shop. <laughs> and then, like, pictures of people just sitting in nuked out, like, like, bombed houses, and they're just like, Yeah, what's up, I'm drinking tea. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Or the time they, they reported that they were slightly outnumbered, and they had, like, over a thousand people outnumbering them or something. The Allies sent in vastly, nowhere near as many troops as was needed, because they British were like, oh yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What the Ahem. fuck? Lieutenant Jack Churchill, good. who fought in World War II with a claymore, longbow, and his bagpipes, was <laughs> captured by the Germans and put in... Sashinen concentration camp, which he later escaped from, and walked 90 miles to Italy to go tell the Americans <laughs> he was captured. The fuck I walked out! <laughs> he walked out and then walked 90 miles to Italy. I, I like to imagine he just stopped to get some pasta before he wanted to go tell the Americans. He is the only known. He he was. <clears throat> He got the only recorded kill in World War II of a, with a longbow. I mean, good on him. <laughs> <laughs> this, this man. Fucking. Fucking what? A bear and a man in a kilt walk into a war. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with that guy? I don't know. I don't know if he was stupid or a monumental badass. I don't understand. One hundred percent. But allegedly, hang on. I have a. I have the song that he played. That he oh. played to these. Oh god. These German soldiers when they found him just. <laughs> uh. Just fucking. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, what do you do if your buddy was killed by a man in a quilt with bagpipes with a fucking bow? Yeah. Did he no come back again? Like, like, if I saw that, I don't think I would be able to shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you see, like... Let me set the scene for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a German artillery unit, and you've just bombed out this allied base. Oh, you're pretty sure almost everyone is dead. Then, you get in your tank, you roll in there, and you see a single man wearing, like, a t-shirt, uh, a kilt, and playing bagpipes on one of the burnt-out stumps. I mean, this is just all you hear. Gaggy <laughs> friend. Like, it's so, like, unpredictable. <laughs> you, you bring him camp, and he walks out the front door. He just, he just walked out. <laughs> you, just, you can't say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta be one hell of a man to wear a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking what?
He's a true man. That's a fucking man. God, I just want to get like a group of like this man, that bear, fucking Theodore Roosevelt, Andrew Jackson. Just get him in a room. <laughs> See what That's happens. That's my zombie survival team. <laughs> yeah. The ultimate. Pick four people to help you survive the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> These four just... <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, uh, is this what happens when we're just disappointed dragons and show up and they <laughs> talk about this shit? Podcast portion. Podcast portion. Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Andrew Jackson, by the way, also a fucking madman. Yeah, no, that guy was insane. Yeah. <laughs> he became the very first lawyer, he, or no, he became a lawyer despite having zero legal training. He moved to Tennessee, became a lawyer despite having zero legal training. While there, he married a woman who was already married and then left with her to Spain. Wait, what? The husband chased <laughs> him down. And when he found them, Jackson said, All right, how about this? I'll be your lawyer for the divorce case. And the man agreed. What? <laughs> oh. And that's how Jackson did the very first divorce in Tennessee. <laughs> that, that's a fucking man. <laughs> yeah, that, is the, awesome. that is the case of both the ultimate cuck and the ultimate man. <laughs> Andrew Jackson is also like pretty much like Batman. <laughs> like after seeing his family murdered in front of him by British soldiers, and like he got cut his like he got his like head cut open with a sword. He was just like he got right back up, and then pretty much became the ultimate badass of Tennessee. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out that Andrew Action uh, Andrew Jackson was a vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> just fighting at the, at the night. Also, apparently, um, he one time just spontaneously dis uh, decided to invade Florida against the will of the government. Nobody oh. knows why, but he just did. Spain, of course, you know, sent a complaint to uh, the president. The president said, and I quote, we can't control Andrew Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> also, he apparently taught his parrot to swear in both English and Spanish. <laughs> and he taught him so, he taught him that at his funeral, he, he taught his peril to, to cuss him out at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine just like your loved one dies and there's just a parrot cussing him out the whole he time? He taught his own parrot to fucking just call him a, like, an endless amounts of swear words at Andrew Jackson's own funeral. Literally had to take the parrot out of the place just they did. stop swearing. People are trying to mourn, parrot. God damn it. Like Andrew Jackson's fake wife is just like, oh, I'm so sad. And the parent just screams. You know who I think yeah. <laughs> You know who I think one of the badass men ever are? What? The White Death. Have you ever heard of the White Death? Oh fuck, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to hear about him. This fucking dude. He is a James Bond character. He is an action spy. This is why I think history is so incredibly amazing and why I love history. So, <clears throat> I don't I can't pronounce his name for the life of me. He was a Polish man. And you see, it was during World War II, because of course it was. Yeah, of course it's it was. World War II. Um, you know, Poland was being invaded by Germany. And they're like, oh well, or was it Poland or Finland? Hold on, let me let me get it up. I love how this is what we're doing to the shot run. <laughs> okay, his name is Simo Haya. Simo Simo Haya, yes, and it was Finland. Finland was being invaded by the USSR, not not Germany. And he was a Finnish sniper. This man. Um. So what he did is he would dress in all white, and then just lay in the snow. While the while the uh, while the um, uh, Russian army would you know march across, and this is where it starts getting stupid. Okay. He didn't use a scope because it was a tactical disadvantage because the sni uh, enemy snipers could see the glint. So this man would just snipe it like hundreds of miles away, just you know without a scope. What? 
and he would stuff snow in his mouth and cover himself in snow just to make sure that they, they couldn't see his breath in a snowstorm. <laughs> he took <laughs> stupid amounts of precautions. What? Work. This man has over 542 confirmed kills. <laughs> what? He once killed eight men with one shot. So much so <laughs> that um, when this happened, the Russian army thought, oh, it's an enemy team of snipers. No, it was just one man. Did he just get like a fucking collateral? What did he yes, do? he did. But it gets worse. Eventually, they found out that the Russian army, you know, gave him a nickname. He became known as the White Death. Because during snowstorms, like, you imagine you're just a commanding officer in the Russian army. Yeah. Your team says, oh, hey, there's a snowstorm coming in. And then, like, five minutes later, oh, a snowstorm, the snowstorm is passing. Everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Fucking crap. So he became known as the White Death. They began sending hit squads after him. <laughs> One man... They began sending entire battalions. It started out fairly simple, you know, enemy snipers, uh, infantry units, like 10, maybe 20 people. Of course, then he killed is them all. Is this man the end? So they begin, he is. It He's gets the stupider. End. So they began ramping up. All right, send in a few guys with, like, bazookas. All right, he kills them too. Now, send in the tanks. They began sending in tanks. Problem is, he fucked those up too. <laughs> <laughs> After, like, I think it was like 12 years of him just fucking with these Russians, they finally had enough. And they, they've, at this point, they're like calling down artillery strikes if they so much as suspect he's in that area. <laughs> so they finally do it. They call down an artillery strike. Uh, this is, no, it's 100 days. Over, over five, five hours a day, he would just go out and just shoot these people every day. And then... Finally, they call down an artillery strike. Artillery comes down after, like, day, weeks and weeks of trying to take him down. A fucking artillery shell hits him dead on in the face and blows half his head off. Oh, no. But yeah. that doesn't kill him. <laughs> he keeps fighting and kills all the squads who brought that in. <laughs> and taken to emergency care. Where, you know what? They then cared for him. And for a few years, you know, he was in a coma, as people who get half their face blown off with an artillery shell usually you are. Know, you and know. then he fucking woke up. He woke up after having half his face blown off by an artillery shell and got back. And although it was a coincidence, I would like to note, the very day he got back up is the day Russia surrendered. <laughs> This, this, this is the group of men we have to get together to invade Russia. <laughs> These are the only men who can beat Russia in the winter. He used an Asako M28, which is basically the Finnish Mosin Nagant. He's literally just the end. He's literally the end. <laughs> Do you think he's also part tree? I mean, when you cover yourself in snow and don't get hyperthermia after just covering yourself in snow. During a snowstorm. Fucking what? This man. What a fucking badass. <laughs> and thank you for introducing us to these heroes. Yeah, <laughs> these guys. Thank you for introducing us to future <laughs> Shadowrun NPCs. No, that's like. I'm also, you want to know the craziest part? Yeah, he wasn't a trained sniper. He was just some farmer who liked to shoot things. <laughs> that's like the ultimate underdog He had story. no military training. He was just some farm boy who took his father's rifle and went out there. Military <laughs> training. Just, it started <laughs> shooting people. Pa, I'm, pa, I'm gonna go single-handedly destroy the, the Russian the army. The military training he had was a militia. The, fin the Finnish voluntary militia. And oh. that's it. What a fucking badass. On, tw on the 22nd of December, 1939, he got 138 sniper kills. Oh, good lord. Let's... How... What are these people? I don't know. There could be more of him out there. <laughs> in 1998, when Ash Tully became such a good sniper, 
he answered only with practice. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. He died at the age of 96 in 2002. Natural, uh, ca- natural It took natural causes to take him. <laughs> it took time itself. <laughs> and even then, it took it 92 years. This, this man survived longer than the USSR. He, he won. He fucking won. Imagine that being your grandfather. Like your like your grandfather sits his like he he just sits his grandchildren down in his lap. He's like, hey children, you want to hear about how I murdered five hundred forty one people? You want to hear about how I became a man of? <laughs> you want to know why they call me the end? <laughs> Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Kojima was like, yeah, I based the end off this guy. <laughs> also, Nikolai Tesla. Oh, yeah, like, I, Nikolai Tesla was a fucking... <laughs> Trying try to man. attach a death ray to pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> this man was... It was it Nikola Tesla where he, like, he turned on a Tesla coil and he just exploded butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I think it was him. Uh, what were we supposed to do? I think we were gonna do... I think we were gonna do Shadowrun. I think we were doing Shadowrun. I feel like I should just upload this as a separate thing, because I started recording at, like... I I think it was at Bear Man. <laughs> the Bear Man? The Holy fucking shit. General Bear. <laughs> what the fuck, even? Uh, uh, God. <laughs> what a fuck. What the fuck was World War Two? It was a time where.